Hello, new students. I'm local celebrity Johnny Wanzer, and I'd like to welcome you to the University of Vermont. Congratulations on choosing 20 years of crippling debt on the best secondary educational experience. But don't just take my strategically placed by UVM white male leading word for it. Take it away, pandering wide range of hand-picked Gen Z rainbow folk, with an X on that, of course. From a dining hall known for violating human rights. To a building literally named after a pioneer of racist eugenics. Groovy UVs has got, got you covered. covered. Enjoy our popular majors we market our rep on. Wait, whoops, nope, uh, we just cut those to fund our more lucrative business majors. Or cheer on our up and coming sports stars who get to sexually assault women due to us protecting a big source of revenue. Sorry ladies, can't mess up these white boys' futures. Go Chats Chats Mount. Mount! All ran by Trump's former National Science Board appointee, Suresh Garamella. I'm a Suresh slut! As a self-proclaimed public ivy, yeah, they claim that cringy shit. Located in the predominantly white, faux liberal city of Burlington, Vermont, you're free to vandalize the locals' cars drunk at 2 a.m. as long as you're white. In a city ran by a pro-police neo-live mayor. Gun-ho on gentrifying the town with dying industries to make your tourist parents happy while neglecting the interests of you and the actual residents. <laughs> Bernie lives here. You're just minutes away from Church Street, where you'll see recently homeschooled freshmen juggling chairs and playing wagon wheel every day, thinking, that will be a viable form of income. And don't worry, after you're done paying us 63 k a year to live in our shitty-ass, poorly maintained dorms, you can look forward to UVM kicking you out and having Mayor Miro and the slumlords of the town fuck you up the butt with an even higher rent. Especially when daddy's bucks run out and you decide to take two years off to figure out what you're doing. AKA, move to a big city, fail, and ultimately get sucked back into the vortex that is Vermont. Did somebody say Miro? Tim, what are you doing here, buddy? Well, you, you know, I figured... <sighs> Yo, I thought we talked about this. Oh, uh, you're really milking that Miro puppet, Johnny, huh? Dude, shut the fuck up. I spent a shit ton of time making my son there. That's my son. Tim, come on. Come on. Fine, okay, it's just that my TikTok Owen Wilson impressions have really dwindled in numbers and I can't go a day at my job without someone coming up to me and be like, hey, you're that fucking Johnny Wanzer puppet guy. So I need this, all right? This is all I have. This is my comfort suit. Put me in, Daddy Wanzer. I'm sorry, but I, th I think we can all agree that I'm enough cis white male for these videos. Am I right, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Tim, it's uh, time to go. Fine, fine. All right, I'm going. Yo, I gotta go switch out the SD cards. Help yourself with some switchbacks I got in the fridge. You know he only brought you on the cast to satisfy his own ego, right? Everyone will love the offensive white guy just because he brought on marginalized voices. He'll drop you as soon as he doesn't need you anymore. Just like me, you're his marginalized props. Oh, and your audience isn't buying this fucking forced pandering shit either, Johnny. Oh, Remember, y'all? I Come called on. it! Get, get the fuck, get, Tim, fuck you, Johnny. Fuck Tim, you, man. Please. I, I called this. Remember, you'll regret this! <sighs> Anyways, you've made the right choice choosing UVM. That we as a fucked up society may decide what they want to do with the rest of their lives at age 17 while making you go thousands of dollars into debt rather than normalizing maybe taking five years off, living actual real life, and letting your brains develop to decide. Isn't that right, kid? Ooh, oh shit. Oh, something's off. Are you okay, Johnny? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm good, Kayla. I'm Christine. Oh shit, I see it now. Wait, is that why you hired Christine? Something's seriously wrong with my stomach right now. Oh, I uh, <laughs> I uh, I, I can't do this right now. I'm sorry, y'all. Well, uh, what the hell do we do now? Uh, I guess we just help him out while he does this weird attention-seeking subplot thing. Oh, so is this some cringy B-plot arc he wrote for our voices to be on display? Ew. Aw, oh, shit. We really are as fucking Power Rangers of social injustice. Baby, the Johnny Wanzer puppet guy was right. Shake my damn head, John boy. Are we now gonna magically guilt trip the audience into a supportive perspective just because we are delivering the message now? Uh, let's just help him out and do the asshole in front of the green screen thing until he ties up whatever the fuck this shit's gonna be. Help? 
no, 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 no. Fuck this. Yeah. I did not sign up to be exploited by another white male. Yeah. Have you bitches seen my numbers? I literally have way more followers than him. So fuck um, Johnny Wanzer. I can literally do this shit better than his grifter ass could. Yes. Yes. Did I do your bidding, Miro? When do I get his show? In due time, my child. In due time. Uh, what's up, Tim? Oh, uh, I'm just waiting for my Uber. <laughs> That's all. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck homeless encampments. I pee on them. I want to be domed by Joan Shannon. <clears throat> oh shit, I'm first? <clears throat> Okay. Okay, Suresh Lutz, let's talk budget cuts. Hey y'all, I'm Nico DeLisa, and I look like if you ordered Zendaya off of Wish.com. What race even am I? Just white. So Nico, what's the fucking tea on the cuts that these centrist media outlets are tiptoeing around? You know, because of adverts and UVM's influence scaring them shitless? To cut it straight, Suresh and the gang have manufactured a budget crisis under the guise of COVID complications. In order to line the admins in the school pockets, using a growing popular funding structure implemented a few years back known as incentive-based budgeting. Yeah, I know. It sounds like a goddamn NFT cryptocurrency pyramid scam. Like that one soft boy I went on a Tinder date with who uh, doesn't talk to me anymore but watches all my stories and wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. Well, IBB basically fosters excessive admin salaries while relying on butt-chugging student fees to fund their costly amenities, while also making departments compete Squid Game style for student tuition dollars, leaving low-attended and less profitable majors to be yeeted the fuck out. So, you know, that typical late capitalism bullshit that's dicking down every industry right now. Because of this shit, they recently proposed cutting faculty and programs while implementing hiring slash pay freezes and discontinuing 16 to 23 of UVM's majors, mostly focusing on UVM's self-reported dwindling art and science programs, even though public enrollment documentation this year docked this shit, showing enrollment reaching record highs of about 1,500 students. On top of that, Moody Investors reported that the school was actually financially stable as of December 2020, the same month that these budget cuts were proposed, a timing sussy as shit, coming suspiciously a week before finals, a time where gathering and strategizing against them would be challenging. Hmm. Just like when I strategically removed officers from downtown while y'all defunded the police to create fake hysteria to fund them again. Yay! What is this? Was it not a salient point that, was, that I think might have been worth, you know, bringing up and mentioning, you know? What are you mansplaining to me? Fucking, I gotta go! I feel like I'm talking to a sound guy at Nectar's right now. Love you, Sergey. Meanwhile, some teachers don't even make a livable wage. Um, yeah, actually, like, myself included. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot that you worked there. Yeah. Yo, are you scared that you're gonna get fired? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. All while profitable STEM programs are receiving even more funding. The basketball coach makes $254,000 a year. Oh, makes $254K bonus on top of his three... $334,000 salary? Are you kidding? No. Jesus. <laughs> The basketball coach makes 200, oh my God, $245,000 bonus on top of his $334,000 salary. When his players get paid nothing by the NCAA, by the way, fundraise millions for new buildings over the course of 10 years, and pay an anti-drug and alcohol liaison $400,000, who did a fucking fantastic job with that whole Miami fuckboy beach trashing party at North Beach earlier this year. All while the university rakes in $382 million from the state, tuition, donors, and other institutions. They claim a lot of those endowment dollars can only be used for what the donor specifies, but I don't know, Suresh, maybe if you cut some of your excessive $630,000 a year salary or some of Richard Page's $660,000 a year salary, this inflated budget crisis that you've manufactured under shifting priorities in the guise of COVID-19 wouldn't fucking exist. No wonder all those old hipster chicks on campus have to shave their eyebrows to hide their arresting bitch face. Huh, I guess these videos are hella fast. Maybe all those old boomers are right. You see, I keep telling you this. <laughs> Fuck you, mom. Love you too, you piece of shit. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Johnny texted me. I uh, gotta go grab his medication. Okay, sluts, this is literally my show now. <laughs> Boy, bye. Hey y'all, I'm Maddie Jameson, and I'm not gonna read this self-deprecating joke, Johnny, because I'm literally fucking perfect. So, trigger warning, babes, because like most schools and workplaces, we're talking about UVM's fucking incompetence dealing with sexual assault. Trans. Position. In the fall of 2020, when we were all distracted by the sexual assaulting orange man, dick measuring with the sexual assaulting old man, UVM swimmer Kendall Ware, backed by a bunch of other dope queens, went to the press about being sexually assaulted by a dude on the Catamount team in 2019. 
but only after getting dicked around and misled by UVM's athletic department and Title IX campus police for a few months. Who ultimately did jack shit in order to protect their precious profitable male basketball team. Ooh. Claiming to Kendall's mother that his suspension wouldn't be fair to other teammates due to his absence of skill. AKA, less wins equals less moolah for Sureshi. Mm -hmm. After UVM denied the press multiple interviews and case records for legal reasons, <laughs> it wasn't until this past April when Athena Hendrick came forward about being assaulted by Austin Whalen that their silent monetary negligence came to bite them in the butthole. It sounds nice, I want my assy, honestly. <laughs> When multiple other victims came forward a few days later in support of Athena, thousands of students staged a survivor's solidarity walkout in protest of the school not properly reprimanding these non-conny dipshits, therefore perpetuating the abuse. And yes, queens, that's a new term I just made up. You're welcome. Tim, you do not want to do this with me right now. With me, during this topic, yeah, good call. Get the fuck out of here with your Harry Potter goofy looking ass. Harry Potter. UVM only responded because of pressure and not actually caring. Promising all these programs and forced platitudes. Except the two fucking things everyone was asking for. To take accountability for their poor handling of this shit in the past. And addressing how they will actually reprimand these rapists, which they have yet to do. The problem is so bad that an independent Instagram account by the name of UVM Empowering Survivors started up in April and at the time of this recording has over 300 stories in just seven months. I encourage you to follow them, read their stories, or share your own if you're comfortable enough. If this account gets enough traction, maybe Sir Resh will pull his head out of the business department's ass one day. And I don't know, do the right thing, but bam, that's how you do the show. Fuck around with me if you want to, Sir Resh, and your pronouns are about to be was slash were, bitch. Excuse me. Who the fuck named it Title IX? That shit does not make sense. Huh. I guess we do swear a bunch in these. Yo, homie, I brought you those kids' cuisines that you asked for. Is everything okay? Nico, you remember how I said my stomach was hurting? Yeah, what's up, dude? Well, I went to the hospital today and, uh, they told me I... They told me I have stomach cancer. Oh my god, dude. I am so sorry. I've got no appetite. I can barely sleep. And just, everything feels fucking garbo right now. On top of that, I, f I feel like something's missing right now. And it's left this huge void in me. Like I'll never be able to look forward to anything ever again. Oh, I thought you were gonna stick a non sequitur joke in there. <sighs> you know, I make these stupid videos, but nothing ever really changes. And I know I'm recognized and loved and validated by the public, but it all feels like fucking droplets in an empty void. Unable to quench a thirst. Hey, you know what? Let's just smoke this heady fucking flower I got from outside of Dead Set. Got you this mocha latte flavored Soylent, and we can just relax and watch the fish stream from Halloween. Oh, you know what? No, we'll put on some twiddle. That's really gonna cheer you up. Do you want me to fucking kill myself instead? Yo, man, what's your grab bong policy in your room? You know, when you really think about it, greed, late capitalism, murders, wars, romantic turmoil, every economic <laughs> industry becoming corrupt, it's all because the human race is inherently selfish. And that's what it all boils down to. In the end, people only fucking care about themselves. So what's the fucking point of these videos? Bro, what's up? Hey, sorry to interrupt your ninth grade puberty epiphany that you're having, but yo, wouldn't it be dope if they did a Kids Bob album, but it's like dogs barking? Yo, not now, Kayla. God damn it. Maybe it'll be all right not living in this world anymore. Hey, uh, fake Kayla, I think it's your turn anyways to do your fucking thing. Have at it. Hey y'all, I'm Kay. <laughs> Fuck, Christine. Oh, they got me doing it now too. Okay kids, let's talk UVM food right now. And no, I'm not talking about the $3 water bottles at the Davis Center. I'm talking Sodexo, which, no again, is not one of those free-to-play gotcha puzzle apps that your mom loves to post scores about on Facebook. I'm talking the multi-billion dollar food service company that has over half a million employees across the globe, known for numerous human rights violations that UVM has employed for over 60 years. Check this, I'm one of the lower class insults defending the billionaires in the Reddit comments right now. What do they even do? All these lip cards do complain about the smallest shit. 
Also, what's your ex? I want to emoji respond to all your stories, but also call you a cunt when you don't respond to me. Well, anonymous Reddit guy with an anime avatar. It's everything from forcing pregnancy tests of women to get or keep jobs, segregating guinea workers from their white European managers in the cafeteria, forcing workers to eat food off trays left by customers, knowingly exposing employees to asbestos and not providing respirators, systematically denying promotions to 3,400 black managers, not paying employees for forced overtime, and making workers provide their own safety equipment, resulting in deaths from a lack of training. Just to name a few, all culminating into over $100 million in human rights violation fines since 2000. I don't know, is that enough? I could keep going. But his Reddit contrarian ass is just gonna disagree no matter what, isn't he? Mmm, let me DDOS that pussy girl. Yeah, they kind of look like this guy. Wait, what, wait, what do you mean looks like me? Yeah, you know, like interrupting all the women's skits when they're talking. But slip up a man, I got a problematic attraction to dudes like you. Cause daddy issues, duh. Low self-esteem, yup. To the point I let my 12 year old brother watch me change through the doors of my parents' house. So I know he'll become a man because of me. Just a little pick me up validation thing. Am I right ladies? Bitch, you're insane. Yo, what the actual fuck? Christine, have a good day. I'm out. Oh, I miss scaring dudes like this off of Tinder. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, these dudes own a 20% stake in one of the largest for-profit prison corporations in the US. You know, the unethical model of running prisons, whose profits rely on how many people are locked up, which rather than rehabilitate, look for more ways to incarcerate people when profits are low. And surprise, surprise, Sodexo prisons around the world have been found to have systemic issues, a result in human right abuses for inmates and prison workers alike. They also have a long record of mistreating workers at UVM, for managers punishing employees for speaking out about working conditions, attendance policies pressuring sick employees to come in and work, being suspended for clocking out early when they have permission to, oh and those maggots they found in the dining hall. And every time students and faculty have tried to protest or go to the press, UVM admins always shut it down and the problem magically disappears just like Tim did. So as a school that continuously pretends to support social injustices and such, their continued involvement with a company like this clearly shows a lack of commitment to that mission statement. Hello? The you yeah? Have okay, I'll be over. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? As y'all know, Johnny's in critical condition, so I gather y'all here today to read his will. What's it say? So, he wants his ashes spread around the outside of the u -mall. Most of it in that weird-ass entrance where O'Brien's was. You know where the motherfuckers out there smoking with their kids and shit? Like... Yo, don't look at me like that. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, but my fucking godson's nephew smokes ports out there, dude. He also wants to put a statue of himself in the corner. So you have to walk around the mean ass IHA workers outside chain smoking just so you can pay your respects to him. It's pretty reasonable if you ask me. He wants a statue to say, in his words, long live Dream Machine and Roly Boly. What the fuck is this shit? This your real will? Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, this is your problem. You too creative. You get some free time on your hands, you start hating on marriage and shit, and this is what the fuck comes out of it. Oh, and Ash, he's leaving you his social media accounts. And the show. Ha <laughs> ha, fuck you losers. Oh, what the fuck? Did you guys not see my segment? <laughs> I've been applying to jobs at NBC, so this rinky-dink little video show will be great resume fodder when I change it to Ash Diggs promo videos. Oh, it also says here he's leaving a 200K life insurance policy to a Kayla Page? Oh my god, how old is this shit? She's not even on the show anymore. You know, I'll uh, I'll take care of the rest from here, bro. Dude, he gave, he gave the show. 200k life insurance policy to Kayla Page? Bitch, don't you even with your wacky ass. Fuck, I really want to fund that kid's bop for dogs album. Yo, so is that like the dogs are singing the melody to this song or? No, just straight dog barks over the track. You're a weird ass bitch. I love you. Hey Johnny, it's me. Kayla, I was hoping I'd get to see- Yeah, yeah, okay, yep. So, uh, hey, I need you to do an old friend a favor. Of course. <coughs> yep, so you see where it says, Kate, I mean, my name? Uh, I just need you to change it over to my legal name, Christine Martell. 
Okay. I just want to say, I really appreciate all you've done for the videos. <coughs> and I'm sorry I never wrote you good lines. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. I'm just glad you're happy now. And I got to say goodbye before yeah. I... <coughs> yeah, uh, okay. Just remember one thing. If I turn into a ghost, and I can ghost shit all over your food, and you eat my ghost shits, just know it's out of love. Thank you for everything. Goodbye, Kayla. Oh, and if I'm a ghost and I see you naked, sorry, not sorry. God damn it. This is fucking dark. Anything to get my steps in, girl. I'm going on live later. I moved some out of my coochie hole in the women's bathroom. What? He never got a chance to go in the women's bathroom. It's in the will for Kayla. I'm getting my damn money. I miss Kayla. Don't you have a show to run now, leader? Oh yeah, you're right. Yo, fuck this shit. Hey y'all, I'm Master Diggs. I'm mixed, but as far as streaming services are concerned, I count as one whole black person. Now, now that's what I call a three-fifths compromise. Due to not my merit, but solely the color of my skin, I'm here to talk to you about racial issues at the University of Vermont. Now, am I from Vermont? No. Did I go to UVM? Also no. But as one of, if not the most popular BIPOC artists in Vermont right now, I feel it is my duty to use my platform to discuss these issues. I have no idea who this man is. What do I do? Bro, who the fuck is this gone with the wind ass kid? I'm gonna go help him. I literally have never seen this man before in my life. Our first topic is the infamous cakewalk, a proud tradition of UVM for over 80 years. These days, UVM wants to pull a drink and act like this baby didn't happen. Boom shakalaka! The cakewalk was a competition that featured fraternity brothers wearing blackface and kinky wigs. If you know, you know, or should I say, Trudeau Trudeau. He's heating up! Bro, that is not it. You gotta keep it local. That's what Johnny would have done. How did you get in here? The whole event was described as a highlight of the winter social calendar according to their own website, and also doper than Kwanzaa according to every white male business student that graduated from UVM. He's on fire! More recently, in 2017, after a white student was caught stealing a BLM flag but not expelled, there was backlash, causing the lean, mean, Caucasian machine that keeps the wheels turning to show its cracks. White fragility appeared on campus in the form of signs saying, it's okay to be white. Stop importing problems, start importing solutions. Depicting people of color as always being suspects in local criminal cases. And a misspelled sign from some out-of-state geniuses that read, white privileged and proud of it. Taped to a display case in the student center containing info about the Mosaic Center for Students of Color. After UVM did nothing to reprimand these racist assholes, the former president of UVM's Black Student Union, Harmony Adosamwan, demanded, Who, me? Oh, hey, Harmony, how? How'd you get in here? Dude, the door is wide open. The estate is taking all of Johnny's shit. You sound so stupid when you're confused. Also, I heard what you said earlier and don't nobody know your ass. Come on. Here I come to get my show. Should probably let them hash this one out. So, after all this nonsense, No Names for Justice and I demanded that they change the names of the Bailey Howe and Perkins buildings because their namesakes are eugenic fuckboys and I hate them all and I'm glad that they're dead. Goodbye. In the simplest terms, eugenics is the study of how to arrange reproduction within a human population. This is to increase the occurrence of heritable characteristics regarded as desirable. However, its doctrine is often used to justify the elimination of people of color and other marginalized groups. After the administration dragged their feet for as long as they could, we finally got the library name changed. But the Perkins building, named after a man who targeted indigenous folks was left untouched. Much like Ash on a Friday night.
What is happening today? Okay, moving on. After the building renaming the Backel, just last year, when the BLM movement was at the apex of its national popularity and businesses were doing the most, UVM bravely raised the Black Lives Matter flag for five days. Don't forget to pick up your Malcolm X meal and your Angela Davis poster board. Remember, Walmart cares. Believe that. It was then promptly taken down with Gary Durr citing UVM's special event flag policy. Special event? Anderson Pack and Bruno Mars putting out a new single as a special event. Silk Sonic, baby. Silk Sonic, they're so good. Smoking out the weed. It's so good. <laughs> this, this is about our safety. This is about our right to an education in a safe environment. This is not just the name of a movement. This is our lives. All right, I guess he's kind of cool. Bro, like, sort of. Homie doesn't even live here anymore. And then there's Aaron Kinsvetter. Howdy, everyone. I am retired meteorologist Tom Messner, and yes, I am in a domestic partnership with Storm Tracker. A thousand. And yes, it can suck me off. So, you can say my retirement is going pretty good. Yum yum, I am Storm Tracker 5000. Need sucky sucky now, daddy. Anyways, beep boop bop boop beep. For the past 10 years, numerous students have reported racist, sexist, and explicit comments coming from a professor of counseling to the school's bias response team who investigates discrimination. That man is Aaron Kinsvetter. He, however, has aggressively opposed UVM's equality policies for years, framing them as critical social justice, a popular term growingly misconstrued by fragile right-leaning snow Flakes. Ain't that right, Bernie? He ho, 1% milk mummies. I am Bernie Sanders. Luckily for Dr. King's data, the bias team are in company dingleberries when dealing with these issues due to this guy's tenure. Their reprimanding techniques have only been sitting him down with the students who complain than him laughing at the students' feedback or saying something else offensive with meetings ending in no resolution, effectively trapping students in his class since it's required to pass. Just like when a Elite Democrats passed over you. Pokemon Go to the polls. Insert cringe transition. Anyways, after not facing any consequences but feeling stripped of his damn freedom of saying shit like women are the more emotional sex while men are the more logical during his classes, along with the casual rape or self-harm comment, his little snowflake hurt went to YouTube, claiming UVM created discriminatory policies against white people. Bing bong. Cash me outside. I'm Dr. Phil motherfucker fuck your life bitch give me money me a money man so national alt-right influencers and publications then picked up his video giving uvm some toxic attention causing their anti-racist policies to be put into question because of this uvm sisters of color put up a petition for him to resign but aaron used a huge influencer as a proxy who described aaron as a good friend and had their followers send hate and harassment and physically threatened this Group. To the point they went private and back down due to safety concerns. Thank you, Patrick, Sonic, Squidward, Ben Shapiro, and Hing Hill for your help. Namaste, Hoobastank. Namaste. What the fuck am I making here? So, at the end of it all, Darren got away with doing exactly what these policies are in place to prevent. UVM didn't do shit to him at all. So, black female students who pay money to go to this school got their lives threatened, and he stayed employed by the university. Oh, and he's more famous now. Oh, and he's also a practicing therapist down to, to this day. This guy is in charge of people's mental health. That is pretty cool. Anyways, I am about to go have some fun with Storm Tracker 5000. This has been your Eye in the Sky News report. Back to you, Ash. The heat death of the universe will consume us all. Fuck. We need him. Ugh. God damn it. You're right. What do you mean? All these POCs tried to go after Aaron, but failed. And as the legend goes, only a cis white male asshole can take on a cis white male asshole. It is known. Wait, is this turning into a bit? But he's fucking dead. Remember? Y'all didn't give a shit? Well, I've been holding on to these things he left us in, in case of emergency. What are these? The effing warrior rings of social injustice? Wait, are you fucking serious? I know. I'm not looking forward to this cringy shit either, but... If we combine our powers, we can bring him back. He literally made us the Power Rangers of social justice. We just have to aim our rings where the chosen one lays. The University Mall. Oh, that's cause we need him for a university problem. That rapscallion, he knew. Now you're picking up on this convoluted shit. So we had a way to revive him this whole time. 
Yep. But you kept it to yourself for your own benefit. Yep. It's kind of like a reparations thing. You are all fucking terrible. Jesus Christ. All right, gang. It's Deep State Antifa time. Black. Trans. Female. Racially ambiguous. And me also, I am here, I'm Miro! Tim, no! Doing my bidding! Oh, Tim. White male rage can't control white male rage. All it does is birth more independent chaos. As you know, his damn right is bad. I'm so lost. No! Very well, Antifa super soldiers. I've got one more trick up my sleeve. Magic ring? Make my Miro grow! I'm sick of having you motherfuckers die slowly by capitalism! We need the Mega Power Helmet! No! Short kings are kings too. What the fuck is that? That's the return of the king, baby. I'm free! I'm free! Wait! Wait, no! No, that puppet was all I had! No, I need the puppet! I can't go back to making Owen Wilson TikToks! You can only get so far with ka -chow! Yo, oh, what's up, man? Hey, it's a fucking pit guy. Yeah, pit guy. Let's oh, go. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, uh, buy my pit mug. Yep, keep buying my merch, please. You going to Thompson's Lounge, bro? You know, think about that question for a minute. Do you think I'm allowed there? God, why do you all fucking default to asking me that? Bro, you gotta cut the fucking long ass skits. Just stick to the asshole townie thing. It's not my normal thing. I'm going back to the short ones. I just, this is my like end of the year special. I'm doing like an artistic thing, okay? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna send you my landlord's horror story even though you finished all those videos six months ago. <laughs> okay, why do you guys do this? What am I gonna do with your story six months after I'm done with the videos? Like I left resources at the end of these videos for you guys to use. What is the reasoning here? Hey, you still punching down? No, I'm... <sighs> I'm doing a whole thing, guys. Jesus Christ, you'll see. Fuck. y'all 
I'm Johnny Wanzer, and I sure like to waste your time getting to the point. I can't believe that as a shit boy dirtbag from the old North End that I have to school a teacher with a doctorate in counseling on white fragility. But it's 2022, so are any of us surprised at this point? And also, I just ate some rotisserie dogs from Cumbies, so I'm fucking on one. So here's why your good will hunting looking ass sounds fucking stupid right now. Let's go back to the ninth grade, shall we? So, minorities and women, not a fun time history wise. White males? We be mostly chilling. Our constitutional foundation and economic industries built during the not fun times, so the system is built to keep the not fun times going. But the system is updated as equal rights come into play? Barely, because it wasn't built to do so. What always happens is beneficiaries of the not fun times circumvent progress to protect their positions in society to keep these marginalized voices poor and away from power. For example, Jim Crow laws, women's suffrage in the 1920s, equal rights for black people 100 years after slavery is abolished. You also can't change mindsets and culture birthed within the systems with the stroke of a pen. You got it? Now you see the system's issue. Systemic issues. Oh shit, okay. Let's bring you up to the 12th grade now. This systemic issue is still present today. Beneficiaries like politicians, rich people, and the media continue to distract, ignore, or misconstrued progress by gaslighting society, specifically preying on insecurities of poor working class whites into thinking any action towards progress for equality or marginalized voices being ungrateful, lazy, or generally just trying to silence the white voice. Ultimately distracting whites from the actual class war with the people in power who do this to stay in power. Are you still following, Aaron? I know your mentality is of a fucking fourth grader who says the n-word on Call of Duty all the time, so feel free to rewind and come back. Yes, white people are poor and struggling too. Something I personally know a shit ton about firsthand. I know y'all been looking at my tooth here for the whole video, but understand, the system is built to keep all poor people down. So imagine, on top of that, having to deal with your struggles with an archaic discriminatory system that mobilizes other poor people to focus their plights on you, resulting in you fearing racism Racism, discrimination, or violent actions in every small, everyday facet of your life for the benefit of people in power through subtle or overt racist, sexist, or other phobic messaging guised under the false pretense of bettering poor white lives. So the TLDR here is white fragility is an engineered mindset built by people in power so they can stay in power. So Aaron, you, an idiot, have either let yourself become gaslit or you're a beneficiary of said power. But what fucking gets me is the fact that you attack a POC student group who pays your salary with a gaslit army of poor people effectively doing what the UVM equality rules are in place to prevent because your insecure worldview is old as fuck hurting the paying educational experience of many to protect your freedom to make racist, sexist, or rape comments. And that makes my little fucking anti-hero evil troll brains blood boil because you face no consequences for these actions and proved yet again that the system was doing what it was built to do. So here's where I step in. I was gonna mobilize my audience and reignite the petition to get you fired, but I learned UVM silently offered you a nice hefty severance to quit on your own accord. So you basically got a payout to be a bigoted, insecure asshole guised as a fighter for free speech. So, in spite of that, here's what we're gonna do. You're still a practicing therapist downtown with these ideals in charge of vulnerable people's mental health. No. Not in my fucking town. So I'm launching a full campaign to get you disbarred due to your inability to actually help people responsibly. Which I learned from several other therapists and former clients who are backing me up with this. Oh, and go ahead and send your little fucking influencer friends white pride asshole fuck faces after me in the comments all you want. I've monetized this video, which means any interactions with it makes me revenue. So uh, thanks for paying my rent in advance. Also, if you want to mobilize your influencers and news sources to combat me, I've got Means TV ready to launch a counter campaign with major news sources. So uh, have the town hate you or have the whole country hate you? Your choice, fuck face. You see how when I gave minorities a platform to run a majority of my show, my voice still shines through? That's white privilege. White voices being silenced is a fucking myth. And I have a 40 minute video to prove you wrong. So feel free to use this video as an example to educate yourself on how fucking wrong your theories of drowning white voices because of prioritizing marginalized voices really is. If I were you, I'd be critically racing to the theory of either having an educational reality check or moving the fuck out of my town. As the TikTok kids say, Bing bong, fuck your life. See you on the other side of this bitch.
penis. Wait, what's that? I got the job? Yo, yo, let's go! Fuck Vermont! Fuck this show! I'm out! Damn. Sad to see you go, bro, but you about to do big things. I'm trying to be like you when I grow up, shit. Well, with this, you can. Bro, what the fuck is this? It's my black card. With this, one day, you'll be where I am. Nigga, aren't you mixed? Oh, fuck you gonna give me a black card? How do you have one? Shit's darker than yours, look. Okay, asshole, but yours doesn't have this. Now take it! <laughs> You've been invited to join the cast of Johnny Wanza. Huh? Wait, 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 what the hell? We did a whole fucking Green Ranger thing and I don't get to be a part of the cast? What the hell, Johnny? Oh, oh, okay, you're just gonna keep playing that fucking weeb anime shit over me talking. Okay, I get it. Fuck you, Johnny. Fuck these videos, they suck ass. I'm gonna go open for an anti-vaxxer at the Flint. See ya. Wabon! Beep.